Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Microsoft Store apps are not updating automatically on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Star menu. Type in Troubleshoot. Best results should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the additional troubleshooters on the right side. And then you want to scroll down underneath Find and Fix Other Prompts and select Windows Store Apps, Troubleshoot Prompts that may prevent Windows Store Apps from working properly. Go ahead and select Run the Troubleshooter. If any suggestions, I'd recommend following along with them. Otherwise, we're just going to select next and we're going to continue on here. And again, if it gives you any suggestions, it will tell you if they are fixed or not. If you're still having issues, you can just close it here and we can actually go ahead and reset the Microsoft Store. So, in order to do that, we're going to just open up the Star menu. Type in WS Reset. Best result should say WS Reset. So go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. Give it a moment here. Okay, guys, here you go. You can see it has reopened. Now, if you are still having a problem, we can completely reset the Microsoft Store app as well. So, open up the Star menu, type in PowerShell. Best result should come back of Windows PowerShell. So, go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now, I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it, so just highlight over it and right click and copy. Or if you want to do Control C on your keyboard, you can do that too. And then go up to the top bar of this Windows PowerShell window here you see, and right click on it, select Edit, and then we're going to paste it in. Give it a moment here. If you see any red, don't worry about it, but it should be pretty good, it should be quick, and you see a little blinking cursor at the end. So once that's done, you have the little cursor here. You can just go ahead and close out of here. With the just restarting your computer, and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.